Hey, I'm Cheryl. I am Keith Trim Dragon Art's wife. She's on this page an awful lot in the background and whatnot. So I think you guys should get to know who she is as well. So we're going to do that little question and answer session thing we did with me earlier. Let's start with the first question here. What's your favorite thing about your job or career? My favorite thing about my job or career? Um, well, I kind of have to explain what I do. I am a board certified behavior analyst, soon to be a licensed behavior analyst in the state of Nebraska. Um, there's only about 300 of us in the entire state. So I like the fact that um, it's kind of a rarity. Um, and on top of that, most people who get the, the degree that I have um, work with kids with autism. I'm one of the very, very few in the state of Nebraska who works with adults with um, developmental and intellectual disabilities. So I like the uniqueness of my job. What's your favorite form of entertainment? I know the answer to this already. Live music. And tell me, give me a couple of your favorite bands you've seen live. Um, let's see. In, back in like 1990, I saw Ozzy Osbourne in the No More Tours tour, which obviously that wasn't his retirement tour. Um, we've seen, I've seen Kenny Wayne Shepherd, who's one of my favorite bands. Um, Iron Maiden was fun. Um, Motley Crue was fun, even though I, I think they should just go ahead and retire. Here's an easy one. What's your favorite food? My favorite food. Um, grilled chicken. That's it? <laughs> it's kind of boring. Vegetables. I like vegetables. That is true. Every time we have food, there's always a vegetable there. Yeah. Uh, she makes horrible carrots. Carrots are good. No. What's your favorite restaurant? Um... I don't know if I have a favorite restaurant. I like Mexican food. I like um, Italian food. I do really like, there's this restaurant in the Haymarket in Lincoln called Lead Belly. It's really good. It's kind of like uh, gastro pub food. Well, what state do you live in? Nebraska. Okay, that helps. Uh, what's your, okay, you do the majority of the cooking here. Yeah. Because I do make tomato soup. <laughs> yeah, well, that takes like, a ton of skill. So what is your favorite meal to cook? Um, my favorite, all-time favorite meal, uh, probably, um, Thai chicken with rice and vegetables or grilled chicken with, uh, fried potatoes. Okay. This is in the same vein. What's your favorite thing to bake? Hmm. Well, the only recipe that I know by heart is chocolate chip cookies. So I like making that cause I don't have to think about it, but, um, my favorite thing, banana bread, probably, oh, or muffins. Okay. What is your favorite movie? Let's just go with that. Name your top five movies. Top five movies of all time. Uh, Star Wars, A New Hope. Um, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Uh, Lost Boys. Breakfast Club. One more. Um, Blazing Saddles. Okay, it's supposed to rain today. I know that's in the forecast. So the yeah. question is, what is your favorite way to spend a rainy day? Well, if it's actually storming, like if it's a thunderstorm, watching the storm. If it's just raining, I mean, just doing stuff inside, like, you know, domestic goddess duties, like laundry and dishes and stuff. Okay, this, one's a, this is a good one for you. What is your favorite type of music, or just name off your favorite bands? Oh, okay. Well, I have kind of an eclectic taste in music like my my serious presets are you know hair metal and Ozzy's Boneyard and Lithium and Yacht Rock Radio so um I do really like like 90s rock like Alice in Chains and Soundgarden but I also really really like blues like Kenny Wade Shepherd and um Black Keys so it kind of depends on my mood I guess what's your favorite hobby or pastime my still my favorite hobby, even though we don't do it as much as we used to, is photography. I I find that an easy way to be creative. Um, I've kind of gotten into refinishing furniture a little bit. I need to do more. Uh, what is your favorite comfort food? My favorite comfort food probably um, chicken noodle soup or mashed potatoes. Okay, what's your cat's name? Sherbert. 
Too bad you don't have him in your lap. He's behind you. <laughs> yeah. He's not really a lap cat, but he, his name is Sherbert because he's orange and white. Kind of looks like a creamsicle. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm kind of out of questions, so how should we wrap this thing up? Uh, tell me how terrible it is to live with me. Uh, some days are better than others, but... Um, Keith and I started dating um, on his 28th birthday, and he just turned 58 in December, so we've been together for 30 years. And there's one thing I've learned in 30 years of living with him is to not take everything personally. I, sometimes I do a better job of that than others, but... Uh, yeah. Cheryl works with autistic people, and I'm from a firm believer. I've never been diagnosed, but I'm a firm believer. That's, yeah, no, I, I would say 100% you're somewhere on the spectrum. Just because of your, um, you have some kind of, you have sort of rituals, you're kind of rigid in your thought processes, you know, everything has to be just so the way you want it to be, but uh, analytical black and white thinking is another thing. I'm a savant. I don't know if you're a savant or not, but. And I have questionable social skills. Well. I always say that, you know, when God was handing out creative skills, you know, artistic ability, that kind of thing, Keith got in line multiple times for that. Um, but he missed the line about, you know, learning how to small talk and that kind of thing. That's why I created my own YouTube channel. So yeah. I, could, I could small talk in my... Right, 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 um, right. Okay, Cheryl, I want to thank you very much for, for participating, and I hope there's some chocolate chip cookies in our future. Uh, there might be. It depends on how nice you are.